Hi, it's Caitlin from Caitlin Swatches and I am here with my July 2022 Polish Pickup Rewind video. It's always very fun to make this rewind video and I guess this is my, this is my third time doing it. I guess so. I started YouTube in April 2020, so it's 2022. Anyway, I'm very excited to be sharing because I have quite a few polishes. Um, a lot of them I already had in my collection because I either purchased them or was sent them when they were out the first time around and now they're coming back. So there's a lot of polishes and uh, I guess I'll talk about it for a few seconds before we get into the swatches. So if you aren't familiar with the Polish Pickup Rewind, essentially it is in July every year, I guess, cause it's kind of like summertime. And instead of having makers come up with a new polish, which I assume is a lot of work, they can bring back something that was either really popular and customers really wanted it to come back or something they just wanted to bring back. So it's a good opportunity for people to buy polishes they might've missed the first time around. And the polishes that are coming back from each of the makers that I'm sharing are incredible. And honestly, if you miss them the first time around, the joke's on you. But if you miss them the second time, then really like, I don't know what you're doing with your life. And I say that as someone who missed out on some of these the first time around. So I'm in on the joke, it sucks, but don't miss them this time, honestly. The Polish Pickup Rewind sale will be happening on the Polish Pickup website from July 1st through the 4th. And then the polishes that I note as being in the maker's shop, those ones have all kind of various dates. It's hopefully not too confusing, but there is a lot of information. And instead of me trying to verbalize it, I'll just put it in the description because that's easier. It's there, it's written. You can get all the information you need. So check out the description, please. And if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram. I'm at Caitlin Swatches. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and let's get into the swatches. I'm gonna go alphabetical by brand this time. So here we have Bees Knees Lacquer until it is done. This is going to be in their shop, so the Bees Knees Lacquer website. And this is described as a mid-toned blue with glowy blue to purple shimmer. So this has a fantastic formula. As you can see, it's practically applying itself. It's a really beautiful shade of blue. I'm pretty picky when it comes to these sort of mid-tone blues, but this one I had no complaints with. It just was really flattering and the shimmer is so intense as you're going to see in a second. So I applied two coats plus top coat and here you can just see that purple shimmer comes out so easily in almost all lighting and then in indirect lighting it just looks like it's glowing from within. The next Bees Knees lacquer we have is Dumacorn, which is coming back to the Polish Pickup Shop. And oh my goodness, I am so excited. I felt like an idiot when I didn't pick this up last year. I had so many regrets, but I am so happy that it's back. And yes, I was sent this to review, but I am going to be buying backup bottles because I love it so much. So as you can see, it has a sheer formula, but it builds up beautifully in three coats. It's described as a cool toned iris purple with glowing green to blue shimmer. And if you couldn't already tell, I am completely obsessed with this. It is so, so beautiful. And I'm just going to show it off as much as I possibly could because this polish blows my mind. I love it so much. I'm screaming and I'm probably going to buy like three more bottles because... I want to wear this forever. So I'm just going to let you enjoy this polish in all the different lighting that I could catch it in. And here we have Girly Bits. This one is called This Girl is on Pfizer, and this will be available in the Girly Bits shop for the month of July. So this one is a fan favorite. It is a bright coral orange with hot pink 
to gold to orange aurora shimmer and matching pink to gold to orange iridescent color shifting flakes so this is a really nice formula i do think it looks best when you build it up in three coats it's incredibly shifty as you are going to see in a second the formula is so easy to work with it smooths out completely with top coat and this one is like summer in a bottle to me. This was one of my favorites from 2021 and I'm really glad that it's back for anyone who happened to miss it the first time. And coming to the girly bitch shop is I came I thought I conquered and this one is a soft lilac purple base with strong shifts that travel from blue and lake turquoise to purple pink and violet it also has some hollow glow pigment and this one I don't have the bottle with me so I'm just including a photo but it's super pretty and very shifty and shimmery next up we have great lakes lacquer can you hear me now and this one is described as a cobalt jelly with strong turquoise to purple multi-chrome aurora foil shimmer. So this one has a really beautiful finish and a really nice formula. I was able to get it completely opaque in just two coats. And I would recommend a nice glossy top coat on this one to make it shine. But it also looks really good with a matte top coat, which... I should probably start showing that more often, but um, I didn't. Anyway, this is it in two coats plus top coat. And as you can see, it has a really intense cobalt base. And the shimmer is also very strong and intense and obvious on the nail in all sorts of lighting. And you're going to see it here with Bees Knees Lacquer on the left so you can compare them. The Great Lakes Lacquer is definitely more foily and a deeper base color. And here we have Crisable Designs to Key or Not to Key. So this one is inspired by the Jersey Quinn Key from the Lock and Key series on Netflix. And it's described as a black jelly base loaded with red metallic flakes and gold to red shifting ultra chrome chameleon flakes and this one i recommend building up in three coats um, it definitely has a sheerer base and you just want three coats to get it covered and good but this one will have a decent amount of texture to it so definitely use a good glossy top coat to get it smooth and shiny or you could make it matte if that's your thing and here you can see just how shifty and plentiful the flakes are in this polish. And now we have a really beautiful green from my Indie Polish. This one is described as a spring green that's filled with purple micro shreds, tiny glints of blue and sparkle throughout. This one will build up in two to three coats, and they do say that if you're sensitive to staining, make sure you wear a base coat. So I didn't want to take any chances. I don't usually use a base coat, but I did in this instance, and I was totally fine. So this one builds up really beautifully in, I would recommend three coats, though if you're okay with a sheer finish, then you can definitely probably get away with two. This one has a ridiculous amount of sparkle. It is so beautiful. I absolutely love the hollow in here. I love the tiny bit of shimmer in here. And I love those little tiny blue glitters. So this one is absolutely gorgeous. If you're a green lover, then I would say this is one of the more unique greens that I have in my collection or that I've tried. So I definitely recommend it. In terms of removal, it'll be a tiny bit difficult because of those little glitters, but Tanya has an amazing formula and it smooths out perfectly in one layer of top coat. And as you're going to see here, it's just so shimmery and sparkly. Next up, we have a polish that I know was very popular. There were a lot of people who were disappointed when it sold out very quickly the first time around. 
so this one is coming back to the polish pickup site it does have a cap so if you want this you definitely need to be there in the polish pickup shop on july 1st at 11 a.m eastern standard time so you don't miss it this one is paint it pretty polish take me away and it's described as a warm purple base with shimmer that shifts from pink to orange to burnt gold and this one is incredibly shimmery it's kind of a bit of a chameleon it looks pink in some lighting and then purple in others and as you can see it has a really good formula it's very easy to apply i recommend three coats to get full coverage and a glossy top coat to make it as shiny as possible and here you can see what i mean about the shift it's just really unique And here we have the other Paint It Pretty polish that's coming back to the Paint It Pretty polish website. So this one is called What's Your Element? And this was from, I think, August or September of last year. And I fell head over heels for it. I actually do have a backup of this polish because I knew I needed another one. And as you can see, it's quite sheer, so it's easy to use a lot of it. So this one starts with a light purple base and it's packed with shifting shimmers in gold, green, and blue. So as I said, you're definitely going to want to build this up in three coats. The shimmer is just incredible and like look at this polish. It's Is it green? Is it gold? Is it purple? Is it pink? Is it blue? I don't know. It's all of them all at once and I love it. I also, in a second, will show you this polish compared to Dumacorn. This was a comparison suggested by CGI Gay Rats on Instagram, so here it is if anyone else is curious. They're actually really different and both so, so beautiful. And here we have Polished for Days Just Keep Swimming. So this one is coming back to the maker shop and it will be available to stockists that sell polished for days. So I actually have this in my personal collection so I thought I would throw it in this video. It is described as a blue jelly base packed with pink, yellow, green, shifting iridescent flakes and holographic flakes. So this one is inspired by Baby Dory and it definitely captures that inspiration and is an adorable polish so i would recommend building it up in three coats to get the depth of the base color that you probably want or at least i wanted this one has the cutest little flakes which i really love and i should give a shout out to lisa who is the owner of bedford and grove she actually gave this bottle of polish to me as a gift so thank you lisa and here you can see just how beautiful and shifty and luminous those iridescent flakes are. I love when it catches the light and has the green shift. And here we have another polish that I am so happy to see returning. It's from my personal collection and I'm going to be buying a backup because this is one of my favorite pinks of all time. So if you're a pink lover, then do not, I repeat, do not miss this polish. So this one is Red Eyed Lacquer Don't Go Drag In My High Chews and it has a very bright but not quite neon pink base. It also has white shimmer in it which is such a unique element. I don't see it a lot in polishes and I think it works so well here. It also has little tiny black holographic flakes which no, I lied. They're not flakes. They're just glitters, but they're so pretty and hopefully you're seeing them catch the light. And here you can see it in direct sun and just how pretty this pink is. Honestly, if you love pinks, then you definitely want this polish. And here we have Wildflower Lacquer Illumination. This one is coming to the Polish Pickup Shop and it's described as a very soft teal leaning green base with strong purple, pink, gold, green shifting shimmer. 
and it's originally from the January 2021 Birthstones, Gems, and Minerals theme for Polish Pickup, and it was inspired by vintage Aurora glass beads. So this one has an incredible formula. I really like how it builds up. I would recommend building it up in three coats and use a glossy top coat to bring out the shine. This one is another one that until you see it in different lighting, you wouldn't believe how shifty it is. So obviously it has an amazing formula. It's wildflower lacquer. It's really easy to work with. And here's what I'm talking about. It's like pink, it's green, it's purple, it's blue. It's so many colors and I love it. And last but not least, we have Wildflower Lacquer Potion, and this one's coming back to the Wildflower Lacquer Shop at the end of July. This one is a blue to purple to pink to gold linear holographic multichrome with holographic flakes, and this was originally from the August 2020 Weird Science theme. So this one is practically opaque in one coat. It's very easy to build up. I would recommend a good glossy top coat to bring back the shine and I really really just love any multi-chrome that has hollow flakes in it so this one's no exception the flakes are just so abundant so rainbowy and it's really an amazing polish as you can see I'm kind of obsessed with it So, um, I pro it's probably obvious. I mean, hopefully it's obvious that if you did not pick up Bees Knees Lacquer Dumacorn the first time around, pick up one bottle, pick up two bottles, pick up three bottles, maybe four bottles, because honestly, that is the most perfect nail polish I have ever worn. If that was like, I mean, that's a controversial thing to say, to say that if I could only wear one nail polish for the rest of my life, it might be that one. I'm very fickle, my opinion changes very often, but I genuinely love that nail polish. I felt like magical when I was wearing it. So please don't miss it. Just take it from me. Don't miss that polish. And also do not miss the Paint It Pretty Polish What's Your Element. That's going to be in the Paint It Pretty Polish website. And she recently got a new website, so the shipping rates are better and it's just a cool place to shop. So don't miss that one because it's also just the most beautiful shimmer. And I mean, you saw it, it's beautiful. You don't wanna miss it. Let me know in the comments if you're really excited to see any of these coming back. Let me know what you're planning to pick up. Let me know what you're most excited about finally getting on your nails if it's something you missed the first time around. I'd love to hear it. And um, yeah, hopefully you have a great day wherever you are and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye.